one. Sometimes you might run into this rare issue where you can't get your receiver to bind to your Crossfire transmitter. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So first thing is that I got a new transmitter and I ran this issue several times for my different quads. So I'm gonna go through the normal binding process. And you know, again, it's with Crossfire, super reliable and usually things work, but on the rare occasion, you get something like this that happens. So we're gonna go to bind mode and what you do is you just, on the full transmitter system, you just long press and hold the joystick for a couple seconds. Then you wanna go to the transmitter menu, go to bind and wait till it turns green, flash, it's gonna start flashing, indicating that the module is ready for binding. And then for, and there's different steps for the micro TX, but it's pretty easy to do. So for binding the receiver, you would just hold the bind button and then power up the quad copper. I have this connected to a power supply to make it easy. So this was the issue that I was coming across. It's flashing green really, really fast. And that means there's an issue with the binding process. So what we're gonna do is that when it's, when it's flashing rapidly, we're gonna um, hold the button again and we're gonna wait till it flashes a double pattern. And when it starts flashing rapidly again, we can release the button. And so we're gonna see what happens. So now it's doing a double flash. We're waiting it to flash rapidly again. There we go. And we're gonna release the button. There we go. We get to the part that says update diversity nano receiver. And this mode is called emergency update. And back in the day, you used to have to have a special piece of hardware. That was a uh, TBS Core Pro PNP. And you don't need that anymore with the micro, nano, or diversity receivers. So once it's um, finished updating this part, then it's gonna finish binding and it will reboot. So now the blue color is perfect. So we're in a good state right now. And this part, the update, takes about a minute or so. Uh, so I'll speed this part up of the video so you guys can see the whole update process. All right, we're almost there. It's at 100%. Now it's uh, reloading the receiver. And you can see the LED light on the receiver going through. There we go. RF signal critical. Okay, there we go. And sometimes there's a bug that the light should turn should turn green, but sometimes it's yellow. So it's not too much of an issue. All we can do is just reboot the radio or power it off. Receiver still connected. And then we'll just enter. Welcome to OPTX. And there we go, everything's bounded. Yeah, so it's kind of unfortunate that the um, light doesn't turn green, but as long as um, the light on the receiver and it shows that you have a signal going through, um, you're, you're, you're good. So yeah, that's pretty easy to do. Don't need any special hardware. It does happen um, on a rare occasion. It's still a very good system. And you know, n nothing's perfect, but yeah, Crossfire is my go-to system and that's how you do it. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. And as always, have a nice day.